out of your day regularly do you spend like worrying about money and, and how are you going to make a living as a filmmaker? Constantly. That, that, that's the constant thing. Non-stop, you know. Um, at the end, yeah, I mean that, it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's become a, it's like a constant dialogue in my mind. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing a feature later this year, my first experience with outside investors. Uh, so hopefully that can become less of a strain on myself. And I, I, like, this is always a weird thing to talk about. I feel like it's really hard to talk about the financial aspect of this film without coming across like a martyr or something. You know, I mean, I could have like, uh, you know, built a school in Honduras. I didn't, I made a movie. I hate to say it, but nowadays, like a lot, you know, a lot. A lot more than I would want, definitely, you know. Um, I'm, I'm in debt, you know. Um, I came here with the Fulbright scholarship that only covered for like the first three years, but it's going to be five now. So I had some grants and stuff. And you know what happens here? I just like, ah, New York is not only expensive, but super tricky. So you have to know that, oh, this deli that apparently is cheap, but they is very expensive in this particular item on that. But my point is that I, I live in a city where you have to be conscious about the money way more than where I come from. Yeah, well, I have another job, so. <laughs> um, because I'm not quite at the level of where I'm, you know, we're making money on it, but not enough to live. Um, so we're still kind of at the stage where we're figuring that out as well. It's because we have jobs right now, our goal is still to just like find our path. Like, you know, oh, get the next one going. We also learned a lot from the first one, which I also said like, you know, the first film was the fact that I know that I could complete it. I know that I could do it. No matter how long it takes, we know what to do now for the next time. And it's also this kind of internal struggle where, you know, you wanna make movies that mean something to you and that are personal and you don't really care about having t main talent in them and stuff like that. But at the same time, in order, you know, it seems like to have a movie that's gonna be successful, you also have to bend on certain things. Unless you make a movie that's just completely genius and blows everybody away. Because, at, because it takes so long to make a feature, um, especially one that doesn't fit the mold, um, it's how to find inspiration and like a creative outlet in the in-between times. Like, um, like while, while traveling the festival circuit or like during distribution, like what am I doing to satisfy that creative energy? And so I end up doing, you know, I do like performances or I do photography or I kind of end up throwing my energy into other art forms that are more immediate um, in, in, in that way. Because for me, the, the, the challenge about being a filmmaker and a creative person is just the ratio of time Doing all the business stuff starts to overwhelm the creative. Um, outside of the, okay, and then you have your money stuff and other life stuff. And so like the creative ends up just shrinking and shrinking. And so for me, it's the challenge is to find, to just try to find that balance and find a creative outlet every day.